And welcome back to the workbench of Trump Laboratories. Uh, during field testing, Big Ol' Welp was too slow, Zaraku was too slow, and Glinda is too slow. So we're gonna put in a few more faster dragons. Uh, put in a Vasive Worm and a Twin Tyrant for sometimes I want single target, sometimes I want AoE, and we're gonna put in some Stay Alive in Cartoon Defender. The Madman! Mage is pretty slow typically, so I don't think I need this, but I'll keep Skill Rider anyways. So I think we will be Tap Tap Drake Tap Summoner. Tap Rider Summoner, something like that. The current Galakron Warlocks only run four dragons total despite having two nether wings and two breaths. That's an interesting factoid. I see a vision. Uh, they run Dragon Queen Alex Trez. They run the two nether wings and two Alexes. Oh! They don't run Twilight Drake, I see. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit of a surprise. Maybe that justifies cutting down a few of these, sure. And given that I run Skill Rider, I do need to uh, add more dragons on top. I think this this is a fairly solid Schmorgosborg. Schmorgor. I mean I think based off of all of the dragon synergy I'm running, six is low. Uh, how many do I have right now? I think I'm at six. I'm at seven. Okay, I can afford to cut one then. Oh my god, this is a really interesting stats problem right now. If I dark skies, what are the odds that 6-4 is the split? Uh, even if I miss, I can still play both the three and the one. That'd be kind of a bummer. It's an interesting stats question though, so if anyone uh, can do the math on that, let me know. Yeah, bummer. What are the exact chances of flipping a coin ten times in a row and getting exactly five heads? And that should be a pretty easy thing to come up with. We must stop this corruption. The big trick of stats is like wording it in a different way so that the problem is easy to think about. We must expand our minds. My hand is too full. By the way, incorrect statistics, which oh my god, the statistics is so bad. Six four, four six, or five five are the only possibilities. So you have a sixty-six percent chance of killing one of them. Oh my god. Disastrous statistics. <sighs> we need some Koreans in here. And that's not racist! That is to say, I was browsing YouTube, and did you know that the Korean SAT is actually extremely difficult. It's way harder than the American SAT. Okay, so this math seems reasonable. It's 50% uh, to the 10 times 10 choose 5, 
which is 24.6%. That sounds like the right way to do it, so. We're gonna say it was 24.6% chance, so. Uh, Round it to 25, so I had a 75% chance of killing something, but missed. Which, you know, 25%'s unlucky, but not that unlucky. I bet he was not looking for explosive shot, but Zephyrus is a genius. Or is Zephyrus a genius? I'm not sure. Oh my god, look at that twin tyrant. Who's OP now? Disgusting. I suffered long enough. It's your turn now. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh my god, this is a combo. Whatever, he might not miss. Very bad. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, bro. Wait, another Dragon Queen Alex Straza? You deserve everything that happened to you. You're gross. with this thing. Cool. If I want a Zilliax, there's better cards to Zilliax, but... Got a six drop, it's not bad. Unity, precision, flexibility. It's the combo! Oh my god, Armor Goon plus Jaraxxus, that's OP. Ready for a show? I'll take a Dragon Queen Alex Straza, please. Oh. For once, Raku isn't too slow. I think I can afford to play it with a 4 4 on that side. I also have Titanic Wacky. Which I think I surprisingly shouldn't play on the 4 12. I'm not even sure if I should play it. Yeah, I have another. As long as I have one Lackey, it's fine. I'm gonna play it on this one. Oh, right. That's fine. Oof. I bring life. Arrgh. 
Oh, didn't have a fast answer there. This mage is the reincarnation of Yog Saron. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Or it's just Reno while he's so random. Winky face. I definitely thought about Grim Rally because my board was going to be pretty full. You're in my hands now. Okay, Flame Strike's already been played. Ugh. So, we could have won with the Argent Crusader thingy. Okay, do I have lethal? 4, 8, 10, 12. 4, 8, 10, 12, 16, 19. If I draw a dragon, I can't draw a dragon. Nether Breath is lethal. 4, 8, 10, 14. 4, 8, 10, 14, 18. One damage is lethal. Maybe. Oof. Okay, time to start thinking Lord Godfrey thoughts. 2, 4, 6, 8. Mm, evil genius if it is vaporized, that's good. Question mark. Even if it's counter spell, I still have lethal, I think, right? 4, 8, 10, 14, 17. I play this 2, 3. Yeah, I think it's lethal no matter what. Because uh, this discovers the dragon. So then even if I if it had got countered, I could play this, and then I could play this little fire. That's cool. But I'll take that. Skill Rider on three. Evil Genius is cool, but... And I ran into dragons that last game, so... Maybe I do have the right amount of dragons. Lucky seven. And consider how many cards key off of dragons. It's quite a few. Two nether wings, two nether breaths, two scale riders, six dragon lovers king off of seven dragons. Curved right into Dark Fate. 
Steal fate. But should I even play around Seal Fate? No, I was probably right to play that. The other play would have been Tap Deal. Maybe I did misplay turn 3. He used the soup vendor. I will act as your scale throat. No point to Melagos in this deck. Little point to Melagos. I will choose the dragon that was good enough to include in my deck. It's pretty good. There's a little bit of synergy between Abyssal Summoner. A lot of synergy between Abyssal Summoner and Evolve Wacky. Random thought. Apparently Lord Godfrey does clear the board, but if I can, it would be even better to save Godfrey for later. Dark Skies deals 7. It's pretty good. I'm gonna pass that one up. Oh, there were two things in there. Oh, crap. Oh well. It was almost correct. That's what matters, right? That it was almost correct. Perfectly planned. this on that. So if I'm going to play that, then I should play this. One for you, one for me? No. Pretty good to uh, Lord Godfrey. The God! Ooh, Grand Lackey Urk. Next turn, Grand Lackey Urk, and then I have uh, two lackeys. You don't always have to just play Lackey, 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 Lackey. If you have two Lackeys in your hand, you can juggle the Lackeys in case one of them isn't relevant. Huge swing turn, here we go. 
Let's do two damage. I mean, that's where two damage is going. I have no doubt that Grand Lucky Urk will show me a sufficient escape path for looking for Taunt Lucky, basically. The other line is I could play Defender, but We've got a high I think that's not quite good enough. That's what we like. I think they've got lackeys in their hands, so... But Demonic Project could get their Leroy. I've got some useless cards in my hand. Hopefully it's enough. Seven different lackeys! No one has ever been able to assemble all of the pieces. I feel like that would be a legitimate win condition for Galakrondrick. I've never had Urk actually survive on the board, so this is going to be interesting. I don't think it'll do anything. Oh, right. I bring life. Wait, that was actually... No, that's a... That's quite a good hand. Got the early rat. To get the lackey to sacrifice the genius to get more lackeys. Probably up against an aggressive deck. Now the interesting thing is if he passes turn one, do I tap? Hmm. He kept three cards in their hand and the coin. Alright, I'm gonna tap. The tempo play was definitely to play the rat. Because if I tap, I delay the entire rat and then evil genius, the rat slash the lackey by a full turn. But I think I can afford to do that because the theory is when you're in peaceful games, using the hero power should be done since it's a limited time resource. So the play is once again to tap. We're gonna have a good old hand lock versus probably a Highlander warrior, I'm going to guess. I had heard about the Risky Skipper technology in some of the more aggressive warriors now. It's pretty interesting. Seems to be a reasonable choice. It's fun. Oh, I think this card like absolutely demolishes the warrior. Oh my god, I got the full combat super fast. This is very exciting. Oh, I got Valdris and two Abyssal Summoners. Holy cow. My hand is insane here for this matchup. It's gonna be difficult to imagine me losing. Oh, four. Whatever. You need the luck. Congratulations. Okay, so it's the usual. I want to end this turn on seven cards so I can play Doctor Seven. Uh, how do I end this turn on seven cards? It's impossible. So I can't play that on seven then. I'll just play this for tempo. <laughs> it's interesting, it's like, oh, I guess I'll just summon an 8-8. Uh, what's my answer to BGH? Send the 2-2 two, two into the 4-2. don't think I'm willing to burn a card of Faldris. Oh, Sack Pack. It didn't have enough mana. Okay. Huh.
I'm pretty incentivized to look for the uh, Evolve Lackey. Since I have the 6 drop. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. I am satisfied. Oof, what a what have evolved there. I'm sorry to say though, you could never outvalue the handle lock. Unless. We must expand our minds. One mana mountain giant. I'm afraid that costs too much. Oh. I'm killing that because of rock. Okay, so I have to count up the number of big threats I have. Mountain Giant in my hand, second Mountain Giant in the deck, Abyssal Enforcer in my summoner in my hand, Alexstrasza. That's four big threats. I also have the Urk Lackey Chain. That's a major threat, so that's five big threats. And Tyrant counts as a big threat, so that's six. Life and hope are worth fighting. I dream the world trends. Whenever a friendly minion is healed, someone a 3 3 whelp. Do I have any way to do that? No. I want to try to get the uh, Evolve Lackey again. That would be a lot of value. Womp womp. Uh, Dragon is probably the most value. Okay, I think I want to play... Uh, this, can, this can choose not to be played this turn. Um, I think I want to kill both. There's 20 health here. I have 12, so I have to play both of these in order to kill both. So that means I have 4 mana left. Uh, 4 mana left. I, I guess this is this is playable. This is totally playable. 3. But I don't need the... I, everything is in 4s. Uh, so, I four, uh, 1 plus... Tap, I guess. If I had more time, I would have played Blocky. We've got a high turnover rate. From nothing. Power. Oh, cool. But your lackeys aren't four fours. You fool. Oh no, your hand is full! Oh, sadness. Oh no, you can't attack. Can't, quote unquote. Must suck only having a hand size of 10. <laughs> I was about to tap there, but I misclicked onto the plant, and now I'm like, wait, I shouldn't tap, because uh, I think the game will go to fatigue. So thank goodness for that misclick. I think I just float a bunch of mana. That's fun. I want to save this one for that, and in order to even play that chain, I should go down to a lot of cards first. The only question is, should I play uh, Zilliax or not? And... Eh, pretty close. I'm looking for a valley lackey. Guess that's the most value. By moon and spear. Him losing super collider is pretty big. On wings of evil. Oh. Oh. Unity has 
Precision. Perfection. I think I have enough value to just overload him on value. Time for Quinn Tyrant Valley. And then should I play Ethereal Lackey? There are two more cards in my deck that generate lackeys. I will want to play Grand Lackey Urk near the end. So I think the answer is yes. I just gotta not make the blunder of playing my last lackey. From nothing. Power. The opponent's played like the point of his deck, uh, which is the Alex Draza and the Zephyrus, so my deck should outquality him. In theory. Siphon the Skies is a pretty interesting play. I like it. It's hard to imagine me being behind from here on out. I'll always be ahead. I'll take this risk. Cool. When you really think about it, that's like a three mana whirlwind. With wrists. But that was the best I could have made Dark Skies, I think. Given my situation seems to be one where I can continuously push out the better card. We're gonna be playing a tempo oriented game. Whoever uh, doesn't tempo one turn might fall behind. Maybe. I think this is a good turn to play Dark Skies again because, again, I expect to always be ahead. Evasive Worm is pretty good here. I guess I could keep Dark Skies in case I think I'll be behind. But will I ever be behind is a good question. I guess I'll keep a Dark Skies as insurance. So no Brawl has been played yet. Brawl is probably going to be an answer to either the Urk turn or the Alexstrasza turn. The Warpath is much more likely to be the answer to the Lackey turn. My goal should be to make him waste Brawl or Warpath on something that is not oh, those plays. Choices. So should I play her now? I gotta move. I think this is the best Godfrey turn I'll get. Well, tempo on here. Failed math? Oh, I missed five. That's right. And here I was thinking, like, chat was about to say, Great play! Maybe. Nice job! No, instead, they all brutally make fun of me for missing five. Okay, is it time for the Alex Straza or some other play? I think it's better to play the Lackey turn when I have some sort of um, energy going on of some sort. I think we're fine as is. Six turns of threats. Oh, that was a very sneaky way of getting out death. Okay, Dark Skies, I'm glad I held this as an insurance. Or am I? Okay, let's start with this one. Huh. 
How important do I think it is to kill Melagus? Not very important. I could if I wanted to. They only have three cards left. This is fine. I don't want to overcommit in the brawl, but we're out of time. Okay, I guess I go Abyssal Summoner plus Twilight Drake. have a dragon in my hand, not that it matters. There's still a Plague of Madness and there's still the uh, Warpath in there, so that's quite a lot of AoE. There's two things that would lethal. Uh, it's worth sacrificing this to try. Hmm, bummers. Okay, the, this is the worst card with the lackey, so I'm just going to play it. The good news is the Warpath was slated for being the uh, Grand Lackey Urk answer. So it is going to be difficult now to answer Urk. Also, I might just get two damage, Lackey. <laughs> the VM. <laughs> Would Barista Lynchon be too greedy here? Oof. Almost the whole deck has Battle Christ. It's an interesting thought. Ah, I'm so greedy. I think I can afford to do that one. Because when I think about it, what really are my chances of playing that on three? Maybe I'll play Dark Skies. Actually, I should have done the lackey because uh, my hand is too full if I do this in tap. Good thing I drew that. I actually should have played the cable rat first. I 
I praise. Seems like Mountain Giant is too slow this game. I don't really want to take the 3 again though. But I have to at some point, and getting a 5-5 five, five out is good. Owen's oh, got a pretty good tempo start. This play takes 3 damage, but I have a 5-5 five, five on the board. Over the Dark Skies, Cobalt Lackey turn. That should be willing to do. Temple Berserker is so bad for me. This time I can't take the three. Blah. Temple Berserker happens to be a really good card against this deck. And he has two of it. Ooh, nice slow turn. Must be because he's got Gallicrunt. And or a bunch of damage. So, I'm on the brink of death, it seems. For Toot. The way I see it is his hand has a bunch of saps. I guess uh, Abyssal Summoner would probably be better in that case. He might also have the Flick. Uh, Cartoot is better against Flick. Two saps versus one Flick, though. And this one, if sapped, at least I have a 2-2 two -two still. Also, healing wants to be... tends to want to be played second. After stats first. That's a little bit of a strange play. Shuffling cartoon defenders into the deck? That's not even that good a card. For him, I think. Hmm. I feel like I need this taunt. But it's so much better if I play this first. The only mistake would be if I die next turn. This seems to indicate that I'm not going to die next turn. Uh... We must I feel pretty confident if I don't die this turn, I'll win. Okay, so one of the cards did not get reduced because one of the cards is Cartoot Defender instead now. Yeah. Not surprised, I suppose. Dark in the sky. Oh. The high roll. Yeah, we're fine. Unless... Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> I think uh, against the Tempo Rogue, it would be nice to have this big dragon early, and the Hellfire with the 5-5 five five attached is pretty sweet. I like this hand. Um, fast Lackey. But the more I play this deck, the more I wonder, is the entire Lackey package just overkill? Would it not be better? To simply play the old version of Handlock, probably with Galakron, and then Plague of Flames. Right mind loot? Would it perhaps be better to play that version and or with Alexstrasza? 
because Singleton is really good. Hmm. These are the thoughts running through my head. Zephyrus is really good, and so is Alexstrasza. And Alexstrasza is a dragon. If I really think about it, what cards do I really like having two ofs in this deck? Another breath, yes. Dark skies, yes. Phrase Netherwing, yes. But what about? Oh, what the? Hmm. I'll I'll play it fast. Quite a high roll, though. The thing with the lackey stuff is, yes, you want to run some duplicates in your deck. But with the lackey package, you really want all of the lackeys you can get. So that means you have to run so many two-ups. But there's probably a sweet spot where you run some two-ups. And the theory, for me, would be the really good cards in the deck are Nether Breath, Dark Skies, Craze Netherwing. Uh, I guess Abyssal Summoner is good. Eh, that one's kind of optional. Twilight Drake Abyssal. I mean, I could just run six two ofs. From nothing. Power. Because when I think about it, the lackey stuff is played near the end anyways, and by that time you should have drawn all your two ofs. So it's all a matter of winning down the exact number of two ofs to run in the deck. So I'm gonna just start running off the side which cards I must have a two of in this deck. And this isn't without precedence. It's been done. The current versions do run a lot of two ofs and run Zephyrus and Alexstrasza, so I'm not the crazy one here. Since, you know, that may sound crazy, but it's been done. Okay, so I want to play Veldris next turn. Computing. Which means I could play Tap Twilight Drake, or I could play Summoner. Uh, Twilight Drake is my only dragon, but I'll probably draw a dragon. Uh, this would max my hand size out. 8, 7, 8. Yeah, I think that's best. And I don't need the taunt right now. Okay, so the cards I must have. Nether Breath. From nothing. Um, Power. Raised Nether Wing. Huh. Gas. The Brotherhood shall avail. Okay, that's a dark skies. A really good dark skies. Speaking of cards that I must have, that would be dark skies. That's three two of so far. Twilight Drake is a question mark. Maybe I need two of it? Not sure. Abyssal, maybe? Not sure. Mountain Giant? Hmm, maybe. So that's three two ofs or six two ofs or somewhere in between. We must expand our minds. I think if I look up the win rate for this deck, the three cards I mentioned will probably be the highest win rate cards. Whoa. Okay. Whoa there, buddy. Awkward. Um, so, one of the cards is that. I know he's got like some amount of lackeys in there. And I think the giant actually costs too much. Shockingly.
basically use the Lackey when I really think about it to remove one damage when I could have had an 8-8 in play instead. But I think at this point, given how all in he pushed, it's good to be as defensive as possible. Okay, he didn't have a sap, so I think I win. For someone to play Leroy that ahead of schedule, like, it means they're about to win. So I think every single damage you can remove is good. He's done for. I am so tempted to tap, it fits the curve so well, but I'm going to, uh, just not. If I was willing to not play an 8 8, I should save one. I think, uh, this game closes the book on this chapter, but has opened a whole new world of possibilities.